Madam Speaker, I rise today to honor the life and service of Harvey Drehos, a beloved World War II veteran who lives in the South Puget Sound of Washington State. A member of America's greatest generation, he joined the military in 1943 and rose to the rank of technician fifth grade. Like many of our World War II heroes, Mr. Drehos was wounded on the front lines. And as the Battle of Okinawa went on, he made a promise. If I survive, I vow to help the people. Like many of his generation, he made serving our great nation and its citizens a cornerstone of his life's work. Post-military service, he served on multiple service organization boards and dedicated 53 years of active, active community service and leadership to Washington State. And one piece of Mr. Dreho's story that stood out to me is that while on the battlefield in Japan, he recovered a cherished photo album. After decades of searching for the family it belonged to, he was able to get it back to the Nakamoto family in Okinawa. This selfless act helped a family reunite with their past loved ones, transcending the boundaries of war with a kind act of humanity. Madam Speaker, Harvey Drehos exemplifies courage, selfless service, and love for others. He recently celebrated his 100th birthday and is the last living member of his World War II military unit. I am honored and proud to recognize him for his service in combat and his love and compassion for our nation.